The Super Bowl was just played yesterday. Today we're gonna be putting a tier list together of the past 10 Super Bowls, including the one we just watched. So first of all, we have Super Bowl 48. Seattle Seahawks just completely blew out the Broncos and put this Super Bowl in D. Then we have Super Bowl 49. We went from a very, very low to a very, very high. It kind of started out a little stale. I don't even think it was a score in the first quarter, but from the second quarter on, the Patriots and Seahawks were just battling it out. The Seahawks had a golden opportunity to score a touchdown and kind of submit themselves as maybe a dynasty. But we all know what happens, the interception. Definitely one of the most popular plays in Super Bowl history. Go ahead, put that in S tier. This will probably be one of the Super Bowls to go down in Super Bowl history. Next is gonna be Super Bowl 50. Main story leading up to the Super Bowl was one of the most electric offenses in the Panthers versus one of the best defenses in the Broncos. This was a very heavy defensive game. Not a lot of points scored, but at least it was decently close and it wasn't a complete trash game and it wasn't complete blowout like the Seahawks. So I'll put it in C probably. Next is going to be Super Bowl 51, Patriots versus Falcons. We all know what happened in the first half. The Falcons were absolutely dominating the Patriots. And in the second half, Tom Brady came back as one of the biggest comebacks in Super Bowl history. We'll all remember this. I'm struggling to put it in S just because of how lackluster that first half was. Actually, you know what? I'll, I'll still put it in S. I'll still put it in S. Back to back great Super Bowls here. Super Bowl 52. The Patriots were heavily favored in this with the backup quarterback Nick Foles starting the game. This whole Super Bowl is great. The underdog mentality in the Philadelphia Eagles with all the Eagles fans wearing the dog mask. You had the Philly special. I feel like the game was great from start to end. You had the Super Bowl party in Philly that was absolutely crazy. And I actually might put it above the Falcons and Patriots game. Super Bowl 53, Rams versus Patriots. Low scoring game, 10 to three. At least it was close though, I'll give it that. We were expecting some points to be put on the board, but that absolutely didn't happen. Let's go ahead and put in D. I'll put it above Super Bowl 48 just because it was close, but yeah, I don't think there's no doubt that that should be D. Super Bowl 54, the Chiefs beating the 49ers. I think this is the definition of a mid Super Bowl. I mean, the game wasn't great. It wasn't anything special, but it wasn't anything bad neither. It's either going in A or B for me. I think I'll put it in B. Super Bowl 55, the Buccaneers versus the Kansas City Chiefs. The whole story was Tom Brady passing the torch to Patrick Mahomes. This game wasn't really great. It was heavily one-sided. The Buccaneers defensive line just absolutely obliterated <laughs> Uh, Patrick Mahomes. It was so hard for him to do anything. At least we had some points scored though. It wasn't close. Well, actually we might put it at the top of D. This is where a lot of controversy is going to come in at. I think Super Bowl 56 is heavily underrated. You have two newer teams coming in the frame here, which is always great. I feel like when you just recycle the same team over and over and over again, it kind of gets repetitive. The final two drives were amazing. You had Cooper Cup just absolutely going off, going down to score a touchdown. And then you had Aaron Donald making a play on fourth down. I actually might put this in A. For our most recent Super Bowl 57, I think it's gonna be a lot of controversy. From the first quarter to the fourth quarter, this game was had highlights all over it. But to me, the end kind of ruined it. Is it the right call? You can say yes, you can say no. I'm not really here to get into that, but it, but we all know it completely ruined the momentum of the game. Just like for the previous Super Bowl before this one, if the Rams would have just nailed the ball out and kicked a field goal to win it, and the Bengals didn't have a drive to respond, it would have been a lot, a lot lackluster. But for this game, just for the end, I'm gonna put in an A. But for all the scoring that we did have in it, I guess I'll put it above the Rams and Bengals, but I think it's a lot closer than people will say it is. I think this list is pretty good. Like I said, these two I think could go back and forth. But other than that, I, I really like it. Thanks for watching everybody. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll check you guys out next time. Peace.